Okay, can you please tell me your name? Catherine Maggot. And can you please tell me a story that's important to you as a Jew? Yes. Well, I grew up in Greensboro, and um, out of Greensboro came three Jewish rabbis. My brother was one of them, Rabbi Avi Maggid. And when he retired, he decided to give UNCG to their Jewish Studies Department his library. And so at that point in time, Henry Levinson was still alive, and the library on the ninth floor of UNCG's Jackson Library is now the Rabbi Avi Maggid reading room. And when they were building the reading room, they came to him and he, they said, the wall, this is the color we're thinking for the wall. It's called bagel. And he said, I approve it. So the whole room was done in navy blue and kind of Jewish colors. So that's very exciting. And now it is still there and will be there as they develop the new library that they're building. Now my own personal story is I was very interested in learning more about Shabbat. And so I spoke to the rabbi at this time at Beth David, and he was sending some people to the Jewish Theological Seminary to do some study. I'm Reform, but that's conservative, and I belong to the other temple, but he said, it would be good for you, Catherine. So I went. And I was astounded from the experience. And I came on the, when I got home, I decided to create a Judaic website called Shabbat to Go. And that everyone should be able to have Shabbat and be able to at least have one that they could put in their hand and take with them everywhere and unscrew this little cylinder and put Shabbat candles in it. And there was no reason why you couldn't have Shabbat. So that business became over 400 Judaic shops all over the country, including we did uh, work for the Jewish Museum. You name it, we were there. And out of that came Hanukkah to go, which we, we sent to students all over the country. And um, it was really quite something. And the day that churches started calling me about having Shabbat to go for their churches, that they were developing the idea of having the Sabbath, and they loved this idea, I thought, wow, we have arrived. So that's my story. That's terrific. Thank you so much for sharing that.